Hey everyone, and welcome in for a quick video on building this medieval lumber yard with me. Now, this video is pretty cool, so and there are some unique designs and stuff like that in store, so stay tuned, let's get moving, and I'll catch you in just a second. All right, so per my new routine, here is the general layout of this edition. So we have it as a backup. Now moving on to the build itself, I wanted to stretch my creative abilities and really work on something very, very new and different. So I've never really built a lumber mill or anything similar to this. So it was pretty difficult in a sense. Now the buildings and architecture in and of themselves are pretty straightforward. But the layout and overall design had me stumped for quite a little bit, actually about a week. Now I also began my new job this past Monday, so I've been focusing on that. And that's another reason why it took a little while for this video to actually publish. Now anyways, let's get back straight into the details of this build. I began with the actual lumber mill and I designed it to have a windmill for generating the power needed to cut through these large logs. Now. All of this lumber, very similar to the farms from our previous episode, gets sold to Aislung. Then Aislung either uses it for their city or they sell it to um, other villages or whatever. You know, it's, it's pretty much just like a, a very um, capitalistic economy. <laughs> uh, now, I, to be fair, I haven't exactly completed the logging area yet, but I'm hoping to get that done very, very soon, possibly in the next episode. Now, after I finished the lumber mill, the main one, I added a firewood cutting building using cobblestone and thatch, and then I made a large storage area, uh, kind of overhang for goods and already cut wood. Now, finally, I made a small tool shed that is raised off the ground by using the balustrade blocks and a little bit of rustic gate blocks. Now, I decided to raise it because it looks pretty cool, and also it would be easier to keep the tools dry and away from, you know, people thieving in the middle of the night or something like that. So, I really hope you and everyone enjoys this video. Uh, it was a lot of work, but the result is definitely worth it. So, here's a little bit of music. I'll meet you again for the walkthrough. Catch you in just a second. All right, everybody, so welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the time lapse and everything we had there, but here we have the actual village. And just to give you a little bit of a breakthrough of where we are here, uh, this is the farm area that we did in the last video, and this is the lumber mill area that we did in this episode. And as you can see here, we're just still filling in this valley, really making it uh, not necessarily a city or a village, but just a cluster of different businesses and things like that to really pull the Hamfrey Valley together. But this is the finished product and as you can see here there's lots of woody wooden things all over the place because it's a lumber mill so it definitely makes sense now before we get into all the detail and the walkthrough i do want to begin by showing you the front so there's the farmhouses that we built in the last video but i wanted to show you the windmill on this one now it's not your typical windmill this does not have like the cloth or the banners or anything like that um it's simply wooden which would still work it would not be as efficient as one with actual cloth but it does still work i really wanted to make it kind of beat down and broken up i did double layer it and you can see in certain sections i only put one piece of this beam and it's just to kind of add a little bit of detail like it's been broken down beaten up on the wind it's an older build it's seen its wear and tear that's pretty much where we're coming at so this is the actual build i made a little rock there no big deal but now that we have that done i just wanted to point out the little detail it's a beautiful windmill i've never seen anyone build one like this in conquest reforged so i like it uh but what we're gonna do is of course move on from here 
we're going to wrap around and we'll take it from there. So once more, we have the actual log splitting and this is where it's going to be cut. So once it's cut, it falls down here for more work to be done. I did not want to clutter it up too much with wood, so I left it be. But we're going to go up this pathway and as you can see here, we have this nice little wagon. Someone to get on, you know, and they can steer it, pretend there's horses there. But once we go in these really awesome wooden doors, you can see we actually have it. So, of course, plenty of storage space, saws, brooms, all that stuff to get sawdust out. And this is the actual contraption. So, before I get too much into that, let me show you this. Going into this room, you can see here we have some, you know, storage and stuff. But we're going to go through here, and this is where the windmill actually comes in, and it begins turning okay now this was a really fun thing to try to to get to work um this actually should be like that uh, and this was really interesting so it comes through here there's the barrels and the way I, I i decided to do it was it turns these giant spokes okay and so in theory it's, it's not 100 perfect but in theory as they turn it would turn this piece of wood that connects which would turn this, which would make the saw cut the wood. Like I said, it's the best I could do under the circumstances. You know, it is Minecraft after all, but I thought it's really cool how these feed into the energy here and then that energy feeds the saw. So it would cut down the wood uh, logs and it would cut it in half and slide it down very similar to Skyrim. This is like a super upgraded version of the one in Dirkshire, just a little bit more realistic. But once again, storage, all that good stuff. And that's pretty much that, pretty simple. Now, if you go back down here, we're gonna take a look at the firewood cutting section and down here is pretty cool. So we do have this small area. As you can see, it's chock full of firewood. We have our saw, we have our bench, which you could use to cut it and just a small torch just to give it some leeway. Now, I didn't really wanna pile this up with shelves or anything because this is more of a storage area than anything. That's why it has all the firewood. And if you come out here to the left, it also has more. Okay, so I thought that was pretty, pretty cool. Just a, a nifty little small segment of, of, of life in a lumber mill. Okay, and then of course right here we have um, a little thing of water to wash your hands, wash your face off, get that sawdust off you. And here, of course, another cutting table and some extra stuff along this path. Now these paths all coincide. You can see we have one that goes through here. And then we have this one that goes out, which I haven't completed. And then we have this one, which wraps back around. So three pathways uh, end into one. And here is that storage area I was telling you about in the beginning. So once again, I think it's pretty cool. It's got some bags hanging. It's got some wood. It has like some extra carts, some broken down barrels, just a little bit of details here to really kind of make this area come alive. I think it looks really, really good. And then we of course have another cart. I just, I can't get enough of these carts. I think they look awesome so <laughs> and it definitely makes sense but here we are back at the beginning we have our street sign and this is the small little wood shed that i was telling you all about the tool shed here you can see everything right here simple enough nothing crazy i wanted to put a door on it but then i thought you know nah we could but not going to i added some gates here just for some additional structural support but this is pretty much it so yeah once again lots of details really made it come alive um, I love the way this looks. Here's a little flyover, kind of, oh, if I'll get out of the tree, just how it all ties together, really blends in with the surrounding areas. And of course, the wood cutting uh, part is going to be further off into the woods. And I think it's really just gonna pull together everything. So like this, these paths are all gonna go through here and then I'll, I'll figure it all out from here. <laughs> I'm gonna add some custom trees, really make it look good, have some that are like, you know, fallen down, like they were just felled and, um, you know, some that were, that are cut up. I'll do that as best as I can, but that's pretty much that. So as always, thank you so much, uh, for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Thank you to all my, um, subscribers, you know, anyone who shares my content. Thank y'all so much to this community, my, um, patrons and also the members of the new YouTube channel. Um, uh, cause we have like memberships now. So thank all of y'all for being a part of this. Your names will be up on the screen here. Um, I really appreciate everything you do and the support that you show. So, so thank you so much for that. But uh, if you have some ideas of what you'd like to see build, uh, next, let me know. Uh, I will do my best to do it, uh, work around my work schedule, and we'll keep pumping out videos. So this is Legendary Purpose signing off. Thank you all again, like always. Have a good day. Happy gaming. And I'll catch you for the next one.